Hello my beautiful Saggies and welcome to your reading heading into early April 2022. I hope you're doing well. I've done a pre-shuffle and I can see that you're turning your back on a situation. Okay, this is you. You're the king of wands and um, you're coming out in a reverse here. But it just means you're turning your back on this five of swords energy. You're no longer acting upon it. You're no longer giving it your energy, your attention. Um, you're focused on something else. So we have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight is a romantic kind of energy. Um, he's passionate about something. He's desiring something. But what I'm clearly seeing in the cards here is there's a delay or there's distance between you and uh, someone you're wanting to spend time with. Knight of Cups next to the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Then we have the King of Cups in the reverse next to the world. So this would be very similar energies here. Um, distance getting in the way. Distance getting in the way. We have a very happy situation though. We have the Ten of Cups, which is happily ever after, right? But again, it's like you're waiting. Three of Wands in the reverse but it's more distance. It's distance um, that I'm getting with the world card. So I'm seeing a long distance connection here. Um, so you're definitely turning your back on a situation um, because we have the five of pentacles in the reverse next to the page of pentacles. So see how someone may have shut you out. Someone may have left you out in the cold, rejected you, but you're no longer suffering from that situation. Your attention is on something else. You're getting to know someone else is what I'm seeing. Um, but again, the star card came out and it, I, I'm seeing distance here, long distance. Um, we have the page of pentacles and the page is facing the two of swords. So I'm getting with the two of swords, distance as being the obstacle okay stopping you from taking action um very interesting let's see what the oracles have for you angels and spirit please show me what's going on in sagittarius's love life in early april 2022 what's going on for sagittarius in love going on for Sagittarius in love, please? We've got someone who sees a future with you. And um, this card is saying you can expect some kind of commitment or serious offer. We did get the Ten of Cups, so I'm not surprised to see that card coming out. Okay, we've got recent breakup. I feel like it's yours, Saggy, because um, you've turned your back on a situation. I knew this card was going to come out from a distance. I can't make this shit up, okay? So, um, this is, Spirit is saying this is a blessing in disguise. You may have space or distance between you and the person that you're getting to know. However, it's an opportunity for you to detox. Now, detox means clearing the way, making space for this new interest of yours in your life, you know, making space in your environment, making space in your heart. It's about clearing. So um, detoxing, uh, cutting cords with, you know, codependent exes, toxic exes, cleaning up your life and getting ready to start a new life, okay? We've got true love here. So a very, very promising connection is on the cards. This person who's at a distance is definitely missing you, okay? Um, and we've got questioning next to third party. So someone's, I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's the person you're dealing with, is questioning whether there's someone interfering in this connection. Okay, so let's see. Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm guided to this deck. What's going on in Sagittarius's love life, please? What's going on in Sagittarius's love life heading into April 2022? Open your heart. I just finished telling you that it's time to clear the way, open up your heart, and let love in. 
on to Sagittarius, heading into April 2022, please. All right, we've got Twin Flame Union. Wow. So it's about a connection that has everything. Heart, body, mind, soul. We have fairies, guides and friends um, giving aid in your relationship. So um, this just means, yeah, friendly support. I feel like actually a lot of your friends and family support this connection. They have seen you, um, a positive change in you since you've become involved um, with this person. You've got lasting love. This is your true love. So true love has come through twice in two different decks. You've got real feelings worth exploring. Um, there is the blockage being, I feel for most of you, it's going to be distance. Others of you, this person is going to need to take time away from this connection because of, I don't know, a work commitment. There's some kind of interruption. Um, responsibilities. It could be the duties of family life, although that's not what I'm feeling. All right. Wow. Look at this. You've got twin flame recognition and soulmate here. So you've got some amazing cards about this connection, but... You do have disguise. So some elements of this relationship are hidden. So I definitely feel like one of you in the connection is definitely um, questioning whether there is a third party interference. Let's see how your person is feeling and thinking towards you. Angels and Spirit, show me how does Sagittarius' person think and feel towards Sagittarius, please. How does Sagittarius' person think and feel towards Sagittarius? It's your person worried about a third party, okay? I'll tell you why. Because the person is coming out as the Seven of Swords next to the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's like they don't want to be involved in a third party, okay? Um, they're not telling you about that though. They might not be uh, communicating about their anxiety with this Ace of Swords in the reverse. Um, a, definitely a choice needs to be made here uh, because we have the Lovers. Um, now, you know, it used to be called the Decision, but I also feel like it's a reflection of this Soulmate connection. Um, you've got Soulmates all over the Oracle card, so powerful connection, um, and it's, it's seen through the Lovers here. And um, you've got a new beginning with this person. Ace of Pentacles. It's Ace of Pentacles is um, strong potential. Uh, we have the Magician. So we've got Gemini energy here. Um, we also have Aries energy. Doesn't mean that you have to be um, dealing with Gemini or Aries. Um, I definitely feel that... They have strong passion and desire for you, but at the moment, their attention is elsewhere. I do feel like it's um, it's either a work commitment or it's um, something else creating distance. Okay, that's what I'm getting with the Page of Wands in the reverse and the King of Wands. This person might have some trust issues around you having unfinished business with someone else is what I'm getting from the Ten of Swords in the reverse next to the Fool in the reverse. They will not want to start a new beginning with you. Ace of Swords in the reverse, Fool in the reverse, if they feel that there's a third party interference. That's what I'm getting. Um, and their decision, Magician and the Lovers, is going to be around whether you have cleared the way 
um, and and you've eliminated uh, any third party that could uh, jeopardize this connection. There's more distance coming through, okay? See, we've got the hermit, so I feel like, okay, so this is Virgo energy. This person is trying to seek the truth in the situation. They're trying to gain some kind of understanding, and they're not communicating it with you because we've got the Ace of Swords in the reverse. We have the King of Swords in the reverse. We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse, so this could be potential jealousy. This, this person is a bit jealous of whoever the third party is getting in the way of this connection. They are watching you. They're observing. We have the Page of Swords here. Um, if they feel this connection isn't moving quickly enough, they're going to assume that it's because you still have feelings with someone else or you're still involved with someone else. That's what I'm getting with the Ace of Cups in the reverse next to the Eight of Wands. This is a card about swift moving energy. This is a card about... Um, momentum right ace of cups in the reverse is you know someone's cup of love being rejected or um a new beginning in love not being able to uh begin interesting that you've got three aces here so they're going to feel that if their cup is overturned if it's tipped out if you reject their their love um and this connection doesn't move forward it's they think it's because there's someone else here and you need to let this person go. Four of Pentacles in reverse. More cards about distance here. I feel like this person definitely sees a future with you. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the Two of Wands. But see how this person is holding on to a wand um, and there's another one behind this person. So I definitely feel like this, you need to make a decision. Um, I feel like you need to stop giving to a situation that has no future potential. We have the Six of Pentacles, which is the giving... Um, next to the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Interesting. Um, let's have a look at your love advice. This Sagittarius is love advice, please. Heading into April 2022. See how we've got two sides to every coin. This card is about it being, it takes two to tango. It's talking about it takes two people to create a situation. So this person doesn't want to envisage a future and build towards that if you are still holding on to someone else. I feel like you could be waiting on the other person to make up their mind. Um, so you're still holding on. Um, and this card here is saying, why? You have power over this decision. Um, you make a decision. Don't be um, uh, revolving your life around someone who isn't sure about you. Yeah, there's a need for you to let go of someone and make a decision is the repeated advice here. You're being asked to take a risk. Um, that usually means, you know, step into the unknown, right? Um, and, and the unfamiliar. What is 
the advice for Sagittarius heading into April 2022, please? What is the advice for Sagittarius? You have work through your feelings. So maybe you need to be honest with yourself about why you're still holding on to something. You know, what is it that you need to release? And you've got to open up to change. Breathe through the tension, practice gratitude and know your worth. All right. Let's have a look at some other general messages for you. What does Sagittarius need to know heading into April 2022, please? What does Sagittarius need to know? When I do not open up, I set myself up to explode. So you may have been holding on to secret thoughts and feelings. You may have been afraid to open up to self-examination or outside scrutiny, but be Spirit wants you to be willing to release those things stored in your heart and mind that are causing you discomfort. Okay, um, this is definitely a message for you. I accept that things are the way they need to be. So um, you may have held perfection as the standard that you needed to live up to or achieve, but spirit wants you to accept that you are perfect just as you are. Um, nice. Okay. I'm drawn to the Archangel Michael cards. Sagittarius need to know heading into Aries I mean yeah Aries season <laughs> um, April heading into April 2022 what does Sagittarius need to know You have your inner guidance is real and trustworthy, so make sure you trust your intuition um, when making this decision. Yeah, you've got um, a beautiful connection around you. You have eternal love. Help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. And then you have be gentle with yourself, okay? I release any feelings of guilt so that I may experience lasting inner peace. Nice. So let's have a look and see where this connection is headed. Where is Sagittarius's connection headed, please? Okay, so you've got traveling lightly, simplify your life. Yeah, so you do need to remove situations, people, things that no longer serve you, that are just cluttering your life. Um, you've got choosing your path, all is possible. So um, I do feel like you're choosing to move in a new direction. You're turning your back on the past. Um, you've got voyage of the heart, you're following your heart. Um, and you've got fogged in, go slow, take time, okay? So you do have that deception card that came up earlier. So there are things that you don't know yet about this connection. So um, there's a need to go slow. Um, let's have a dig into your person of interest. We'll have a look at their shadow side. So if we get the deception card, I want to see what your person of interest is potentially hiding. 
everyone has a shadow side, everyone has traits that they don't like to um, make known, they don't like to advertise, they don't like to expose to the world. Let's see. Who is Sagittarius dealing with in love heading into April 2022, please? Distant. I keep seeing distance around this person. Now, it could be that they are figuratively distant, so they're creating space to protect themselves, but I actually feel it's physical distance getting in the way. Let's see. Show me what does Sagittarius need to know about their person of interest, please. So this person daydreams, all right? So they could be a little bit detached from reality. They might live in their own kind of fairyland, and, and sometimes that means unrealistic expectations. Um, yeah. What does Sagittarius need to know about their person of interest? Um, their thoughts are turbulent. So this person is prone to anxiety. I definitely feel like you could be um, dealing with an overthinker. So I, that's why I feel like they're paranoid there's someone else get, getting in the way of this connection. They're, they're paranoid about interference, okay? They're overthinking it. This person could be a little bit scattered because I feel like there's a lot on their plate. They have a lot of competing uh, priorities. We've got victim, so they feel like um, people are out to get them or that they're disempowered in some way or, um, yeah, they're a victim of circumstance. Yeah, I told you they're a bit scattery. We've got fragmented. They're an overthinker. We have rumination and anxiety. So this person thinks about the past constantly. They're a hopeless romantic. So definitely a daydreamer with unrealistic expectations. Um, so that's what I'm getting around your person. Nothing major. I'm not seeing anything like deceptive. I don't feel like this person is um, cheating on you or anything like that. Or they're not prone to that kind of behavior. See what else we get for you, Saji. Heading into April 2022. We've got find peace within. Heading into April 2022. What is the advice for Sagittarius, please? Speak your truth. I feel like that's what you normally do, Saji. You're very straightforward. And you've got trust your intuition. That's a strong message coming through throughout the reading. So do um, heed that message. Okay, let's have a look at your your um, your deck here. It's more love advice, and then we'll just close with a general oracle message. What is the love advice for Sagittarius, please? Heading into April twenty twenty two. So you have, um, you're being divinely guided, so you're exactly where you need to be. Um, your love life is divinely guided, wait for answers. You have anything you can't control is teaching you how to let go. So let go of your tight grip of how you think things should be or how quickly they should come together and simply let things run their own course. You have to trust your intuition again. So. Don't be brushing away any red flags. Um, trust your intuition. You alone have to make the call. So if something doesn't feel right or, or you're feeling a little niggle, you need to, you know, um, look deeper. You have accept feedback without getting defensive. So give suggestions some thought and look at the bigger picture. Okay. So don't take things personally. Um, 
You have keep it private. Very good advice if, if you're in a new connection especially. Um, don't allow people to meddle. You know, that, that sabotages connections. Connections should be sacred and there are things that you should only share with each other and not with anyone else. So this card is saying, if you have issues in your relationship, learn to talk to your partner instead of airing your dirty laundry and risk damaging the future of your relationship. Then you have wear their shoes. So you need to kind of be a bit empathetic to understand their actions and choices. And then finally you have don't be jealous. I feel like the other person could be a little bit on the jealous side as well. Yeah, and we have be patient, don't rush it. Think before you act or speak. Yeah. Okay, really good advice coming through there. So let's see. What are the general messages for Sagittarius, please? Heading into April 2022. Heading into April 2022. What does Sagittarius need to know? So you've got communicating clearly. It says, I will communicate clearly and directly in my conversations with others. I will strive to avoid manipulative, indirect or guilt producing statements. I can be tactful and gentle or assertive if necessary. I do what is right in the moment. Okay, so think about your delivery. Um, there may need to be like a delicate conversation. have assuming financial responsibility so it's about restoring money related issues um, I feel like there's someone in your world who might be codependent now it could be a family member it could be an ex and it's time to it's time to cut cords with that person or Don't enable them to kind of um, lean on you too much. They need to take responsibility for their own financial affairs and matters, okay? So something to do with money. Um, oh, and confiding with a friend. That, that seems to be a theme for you. So be selective when it comes to, you know, if you must share details about this connection with somebody. Um, Make sure you can trust that person. Use your discretion, you know. You uh, trust, I mean, um, talk to someone who will not use your disclosures against you and who will give healthy feedback. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for you, Sadji. I hope this reading was helpful and um, do leave me feedback in the comment section. Like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.